Welcome to January's Leetco Challenge. Today's problem is kth missing positive number. Given the array r of positive integers sorted in increasing order and integer k, find the kth positive integer that is missing from this array. Now that's pretty confusing wording, but basically we have an array with a bunch of numbers that are sorted and missing integers are going to be the ones that are between one through, let's see here, a thousand. So here the missing ones would be like one, five, um, six, eight, nine, so on and so forth. And we want to return the kth number there. So that would be the fifth element, which would be here, one, two, three, four, five, which would be nine. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad. Um, the first approach we might think is to create some sort of temporary array that's gonna count up all these skipped numbers. Um, and after that, we can just return the kth number there. So let's start with that approach and see where we go. Uh, first thing we'll do is get the length of the array. And we'll initialize a couple of variables here, i and j. i is go gonna be equal to um, the number that we're on inside the array, while j is gonna be the number, um, uh, um, the number that we need to append to our skipped list. So this actually needs to begin with a one, right? Now we'll have a skipped list here, and this is gonna be all the numbers that we skipped uh, depending on uh, what order we're going on. So uh, here we'll do an I while loop and say while i is less than n because we want to count up all the, um, check all the numbers inside of our array, right? So the first thing we want to check to see is, is the number on the ith element uh, equal to j? So if ri is not equal to j, what do we want to do? Well, we want to append to our skipped list, uh, the j, right? And we will uh, increase our j to plus equal one here. Uh, otherwise, if this isn't the case, if it is equal to j, then we know that uh, it's not been skipped, so we don't need to add that. So we can just add i plus one and continue on our uh, while loop. So here we need to also make sure, uh, let's see, um, i just one. Oh, right, we need to actually increase j plus one here as well because uh, we need to make sure that we're gonna check for the next number. Okay, so now we're gonna have this list here of, of skips numbers. And really all we need to do then is return the uh, kth element inside here, right? And to do that, we can just say k minus one. Now this would work in most examples, uh, but there's an edge case that we're gonna have to uh, depend on. So here we see the skip list. Uh, we skip all these in between 2 to 11, but there's an issue here. What if the number comes after the list? So what I mean by that is if we had a test case of like 1, 2, 3, something like this, um, this wouldn't work if we want to return the fifth skipped element because here in our skipped list, we'll have nothing in there because uh, we haven't skipped anything. Uh-oh, right? It's going to be an empty list. So how do we account for this here? Uh, well, that wouldn't be too bad. I guess what we can do is get the count of the length of skipped numbers. And what we can do is say, okay, look, if um, the count is less than k, then we want to take the last number here and add whatever numbers remain from k to minus count. Because here we can see um, the answer would actually be 8, right? Um, and we take that last number and we need to add 8. And depending on how many we've added to our skipped, we need to subtract that from the number that we want to return. So what we can do is just say return the uh, last number in our array plus uh, it would be k minus count. Uh, otherwise, if that isn't the case, we can just do what we did before. And this would work. Uh, don't leak code is slow. I know it looks like my algorithm is uh, not working, but the leak code is just slow today. So there we go, eight. All right, so let's see if we can submit this and see if this works. And accepted. So this would totally be fine. It gets accepted, uh, but we do use quite a bit of memory here with the skipped list, right? If you think about it carefully, we don't even need this temporary list to count up all the numbers that we're skipping if we can uh, account for that inside of our inside of our algorithm itself. Uh, so keep in mind that we still have these two use cases to kind of account for. 
So what can we do? Well, instead of um, adding to our skipped list here, why don't we instead count the number of numbers we're skipping? And during our while loop, if we find that we've already skipped um, k elements, then we can just return where we're at, which we can just return our j right at that moment. Uh, so let's do that. Instead of a list, skip is going to now indicate how many numbers we've skipped so far. So this would just be a zero. And instead of a pending, uh, what we're going to do is add to our skip. And if k equals uh, skip, then we just return our j that we're on. Oh, yeah, so instead of we don't need this count anymore, this is going to indicate to us the skip. And I believe, I don't even think we even need this because if we are able to follow this loop, uh, that actually means that um, we haven't skipped enough numbers in between the range. So we just have to take the last number and add whatever remains here. And so instead of count here, this would be skip. So let's make sure this works before I try submitting it. Uh, this should be eight. I apologize. Uh, I, just, I don't know why, but leak code is slow some days. And there we go. Looks like that's working. So let's submit that. And accepted. So this uh, would be, uh, well, seeing as our constraint is between 1 to 1,000, it would actually be constant. It would be um, O of n, which would be always 1,000. So at the very worst, it would be O of 1,000, which is constant. And that'd be it. Uh, we don't use any extra memory. We just have these variables. And there we go. So thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.